and Josh. More importantly, I don't. I, I think <laughs> that Anna and I have noticed just of late how much his Spotify listeners have increased. Um, it's gone from like <laughs> 50,000 listeners to 89, 87 or 89,000 listeners in like days. It's, yeah. it's been incredible. amazing. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that is that we're trying to to um, find solutions for is that uh, he gets streamed a lot at Christmas because at Christmas he's bringing out a lot of new music, right? That's been a big goal for us for the last five years is to really make him a leader in the Christmas space. It, uh, playing tribute music is a tricky thing when it comes to Spotify and Amazon because a lot of people, if they go here, I mean. The beauty about what the Ultimate Queen Celebration is, is trying to perform Queen's music as authentically and accurately as possible. The challenge for that on streaming is, well, that you can go get a Queen record if you want to do that instead of us. So coming out with unique um, product to the marketplace is something that we are always looking for and searching for and will always be a goal. Do you guys rehearse? I mean, like uh, not really. Everybody kind of knows what the, every, everybody kind of knows what their role is, and uh, also we have Brandon, who's our musical director, um, and he's an accomplished musical director. He's he's worked on Broadway shows, and I've, I've, I worked I worked under him in a number of uh, musical theater productions. And um, everybody knows everybody knows what their job is. We all, we all do our homework. He. Uh, he creates scores actually for the for the background vocals. He sends them out to people, and he expects he expects us to show up knowing our stuff. Right. So if we've been if we've been off the road for a while, or if there's new material, we'll uh, we'll just do an extra long sound check. And uh, if there's a, if there's if if we're fortunate enough to have a run, like you know four or five shows back to back, um, we'll gradually we'll gradually work it in over the course of that run. Um, like at the like at the various sound checks because one of the one of the things that's kind of a pain in the butt about scoring is you have to build the monitor mix every time. Uh, it takes it, it it takes a while. We're, we we can be we can be there all day. So we make the most of it. We we uh, we make the most of the time. If there's anything that we want anything new we want to introduce or anything we want to switch around, that's when we address it because we all live in different places. Uh, right. Mark's in Nashville. Oscar and Brandon are in New York. Mike and Mike and I are in Toronto. We just sort of meet in the middle, but we we're, we're, we've got a long history, we've got a long history with each other. We've got my friends and have worked with them in different combinations of, of things uh, for for many years. So we just have a chemistry. Just, we get together and we're we're a band. Just falls into place. Thank you. There's another question here for from Anna. Um, Josh, will Mark be sharing any new mu original music soon? Original yeah. music. I was um, going to ask the same thing. How are those last cookies and t shirt? <laughs> what was the second half of that? As far as the original music question, I mean, that's something that we're always talking about. There's a couple projects that we're working on right now that we haven't talked about yet. Um, now is, you know, with COVID, um, things have gotten a little bit weird and we're trying to use our time as wisely as we can. So he's writing a lot. I think there's, you're going to see some collaborations come out yes. in early, early 21. I think that you're going to see a, some, a, another live record come out in 21. Um, uh, we've been recording a lot um, and we've got plans to record even more over the next three months. I mean, I think that the thing is, is everybody keeps emailing me, asking me what's happening with the shows, what's happening with the shows, what's happening with my individual show. And the answer to all of that is we have no shortage of work. We just are waiting for the world to tell us that we're allowed to go play these shows, yeah. whether they're in America or Eastern Europe um, or Mexico or Canada. We have a lot or Israel or Iceland or South America. We've got, we've got shows on the books that have all moved to 21. And everyone's just going to have to be as patient as they can because we're having to be as patient as we can as everything just keeps moving around, you know? So uh, we had uh, a follow-up tour with Germany um, that was supposed to go back this fall and, or, or actually, sorry, in, in January of 21 and that got moved to the fall and then it got moved to the January of 22. 
And so we're just kind of at the mercy of what every America is, is, is one set of rules, but every country we go into, which is a lot has a different set of rules and they have a, a, a different, um, issue, uh, so, some are worse and some are better. So, um, we don't have a lack of shows. We probably have 120 shows lined up, ready to go. The question is, will they let us go on time? And if they don't, then we've got to move them around again. And unfortunately, um, that just jerks everyone around a little bit, which we hate. Um, but we're just everybody in, this, in, in, in Nashville is in the same boat. So we've been trying to use this time and the space to record a bunch of stuff. And so oh, my guess is that we won't go on the road again till maybe April. And I think that's like best case scenario, um, probably summer. Um, and so we're going to use that. We're not just at home mowing the grass. We're, uh, we're, trying to, we're trying to use that time as well as we can because we keep talking about it. Me and Mark and Crystal keep talking about it. We're like, man, as soon as we go on the road, we're going to be gone for a long time, for a year and a half yeah. probably. And so now we want to record as much as we can and, um, and, that's, and, and, and start releasing some of these projects we've been working on. That's and they've got to have enough space also in the calendar, right? Like Tristan was saying, they've got to have enough space, each of them, so that they get played and noticed and all that kind of stuff. Any UK options yet, Josh? With, uh, that's from Andrea Jackson. Um, any chance of the UK? Um, as far as UK, um, I don't know how to answer this question. The answer is yes. We're talking about coming to UK. It, it, it's, it's, who, I, don't, I doubt it would be in 21, it, maybe in 22. Um, we've talked to some promoters there. We've talked to um, uh, our partners in Germany have talked about booking some shows with us in, in uh, the, uh, Western Europe and in, in UK. We know that we haven't been to UK for a while. And for a while, it was intentional that we didn't want to, uh, you know, he'd played UK for a long time and a lot of tours. And so we really wanted the market to rest a little bit. And there's a lot of other people all over the world asking for us to come play. And so since, since he had played UK so much, we've been trying to get to Australia and Asia and Germany and Mexico. And so, yes, UK is very much a priority for us. Um, and we'll get there soon, hopefully. I'd say probably 22 fall or maybe 23 spring. It sounds so crazy to talk that far out, but that's the reality which we're all living in. We're ready to play. How we're... you like your T-shirt? What's that? I was asking how you liked your T-shirt. The one with him riding on a unicorn. The dragon, yes. A dragon. It yes. was uh, pretty amazing. <laughs> Well, there's the artist right there. You know, Alan did it. <laughs> well, it was pretty funny. They uh, they showed up for dinner at my house and, and gifted me that shirt, and, and uh, we all had a good laugh over it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's awesome. <laughs> well, I got a surprise for you guys tonight. Um, I think Mark is going to jump in here. Mark and Crystal Whoa. are going to jump in Yay. here. Oh, Anytime. Seriously. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited. Let me see. Yay. Yay. I called it. I called it. What? <laughs> I, I, it down. I literally <laughs> said this morning, I'm like, watch him join like out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm having a little bit of a meltdown here. Me too. I'm not trying to talk. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, after this, uh, please don't speak together. <laughs> well, we, we sure appreciate you guys doing stuff like this. This is really special. This is a special night. And um, we would be reminisced if we didn't have Mark jump in the mix here and, and say we hi to you guys. Mark, there's this. <laughs> Let me see if he's, what he's doing. Mark is special. He is a special person. Hey, Tristan, how long did it take you to learn the guitar? Uh, I'm still learning, honestly. Uh, what? I'm still That's crazy. learning, actually. 
I'm using this opportunity, using this downtime to learn how to play jazz. I'm building up a repertoire of jazz games. Ooh. And, uh, Ooh. I'm lower That's jazz like a jazz how to navigate complicated changes and weave bop lines. Like I'm, I'm, I'm always sitting around noodling and, and putting together bop lines. Oh, so, nice. um, you might hear you some of that uh, in my, in my playing when we, when we finally get back out there, mm -hmm. um, there's kind of a common thread because Brian May came up with a lot of Dixieland in the house. It was in the middle of the Dixieland revival. But you yeah. hear a lot of, you hear a lot of, you, you hear a lot of jazz. That's awesome. Hi, Mark. So hey, Mark. That's, 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 that's the answer. I'm still learning. Oh, Hi, Mark. Learning. So um, what made you choose to play guitar for your career? Because I know that's a really heavy decision given all the careers in the world. There was no, there was no question about it. I mean, when I, was, when I was 13, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And uh, oh, nice. we're probably hearing, probably hearing uh, Voodoo Child's Flight Return by Jimi Hendrix and Heartbreaker by Jimi And I knew oh, what I wanted sick. to do with the rest of it. So, so uh -huh. I'm, I'm a 56-year-old man living with a 13-year-old's decision. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tristan, turn it no, up yeah, and play like... something sweet. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hi! Hey, Mom! Um, Happy early birthday! Happy early birthday! Oh my god! Hey everybody, Happy welcome to Crystal. Come on in, Crystal. Hey Crystal! Hey Crystal! Hi Crystal! Hey Crystal! Everyone, if I may, could you please uh, mute for a while and give Mark a little bit time to speak yeah. up for us? Yeah. Okay. Me? Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Love you. Okay. Thank you Bye. very much. The floor is yours, Mark. <laughs> hey, everybody. How, uh, I'm not going to ask how's everybody doing, but I assume you're doing pretty good. Uh, uh, I want to hear. I want to hear Tristan play something louder. I don't know. If, I don't know if his mom is sleeping or what, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna crack it up. Hello. Hola. Hola, buenas noches, Argentina, Karina. Hola. Hola. Te admiro. <laughs> so, Mark, just a quick question before you left. Um, so, when is your next Asian tour going to be specifically for Indonesia? Queen Indo is waiting for you and we'll be all out there to help you out. <laughs> yeah, we were supposed to go to Jakarta. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. year? No, that yeah. was uh, that this New Year's? Oh, it was last, it was New Year's, yeah. New Year's. There was the uh, storm. Last year, yeah. Yeah, yeah this whole whole year got off to a bad start. It was, uh, yeah, we were supposed to do a New Year's party in Jakarta, and that uh, right. they had flooding, and it was uh, not a good scene, so it got <clears throat> canceled, and then, uh, and then basically, in a nutshell, we did Germany, and then the rest of the year got canceled. So here we are. We're actually Crystal and I are actually at Josh's house right now. We're just upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so. Right, okay. so again, so much looking forward to see you in Jakarta here. I mean, yeah. Again, 
I'm looking forward to seeing you in Australia, Mark. <laughs> yep. These are, these are all amazing places that we were supposed to be this year. And uh, we're, we can't wait. We're, you know, Josh is working feverish, feverishly to try to, we can't, we can't keep postponing yeah. things. So we try to push things back just far enough where it seems like realistically they're going to happen. So, you know, we, we could be, you know, on the optimistic side and say, let's go to Australia in April, but nobody knows if the world's going to be open in April, you know? So, um, <laughs> and what so, we don't want to do is sell really a bunch of tickets to, about to people, right? And then have to yank it back again. That's what we're yeah, trying to yeah. avoid. Yeah. yeah. Just keep spreading new songs for us to listen to then. <laughs> can, I, can I just exactly. say um, um, how much you, uh, how much joy you bring to everybody and how much you sound not only like Freddie but George as well. Oh, yeah. I am the, big, the biggest George Michael fan and I would love it if you could sing Careless Whisper at some point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to, yes. I'll have to find I a pretty sick actor's bonus. Pardon? How does that go? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Llewellyn, <laughs> calm down. I just have to say, but I need to say this one thing. I think it is incredible, even though the world is shut down and you guys cannot tour, how the fan clubs have grown at an enormous rate during all this. It's it's freaking, it's amazing. And I just thank God for that. I think it's incredible. Yes. It's crazy. Yeah, it's so fun to watch you guys become a community. And <laughs> besides the fact that I'm being talked about by people, <laughs> it's, it's still a weird feeling for me, you know? And um, But it's, uh, it's so honoring. We feel so honored, Crystal and, and I, and, and Josh, that you guys are, you know, also working to, to spread, get the word out about us and what we're doing and the music we're making and the shows we're doing all over the world. So you guys are so incredibly appreciated. And uh, we're just so honored that you guys get together from all over the world and have a chat session. And, and uh, when, when Josh told me about this and said, hey, do you want to join in? I was like, oh, yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. So it's fun. <laughs> And of course, behind every great man is a great woman, Crystal. We love you. Yes. yes. <laughs> Y'all don't, don't even like, need to let me get started on my love of Crystal. <laughs> okay. So okay, get off. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, Mark, Mark, I love you, honey, but you can leave. I am in love with your wife. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> Mark, thank you for the thank you for the awesome Christmas album. It's been awesome. I cannot put it down. It's it's great, and I'm so glad you did. Thank God it's Christmas. I love it, and just thank you. It's beautiful. That's an excellent T-shirt. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely love Light of, Light, Light of the World. He's just beautiful. Um, yeah. Think, uh, just gorgeous. And Christmas Waltz is beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, Light of the World is amazing. And, oh, by the way, I was trying to figure out which one of my T-shirts to wear, but I decided to just wear my flannel in honor of the Canadian thing. There you go. Flannels. Love them this too. You need to make another one. You need to make another one and and make a sweatshirt this time. But what's Tristan, what's Tristan saying? Wearing? Oh, he's wearing the Queen, uh, Ultimate Queen celebration shirt. That yeah. one needs to get. That's it. These are the ones that Dahlia made for us in Mexico. Oh, oh. Wait. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I made and I have it. I I also have it in my office. Um, some of the t-shirts and uh how, hoodies you say in english oh yeah hoodies, hoodies. yeah, yeah let me search how many we have uh, maybe some day some of these days i can go back to the office because in mexico city we are in lockdown so i'm having home office and uh, and show you once and if you're interested i can i can send you something or let me see we would love to have hoodies and sweatshirts yeah so hi guys how are you <laughs> 
Mark, you remember this? <laughs> oh, uh, going here, sir. Rick is wearing. Sorry, something's in the way. I can't see what shirt you're wearing. Down, oh, down look here, at the green. Sir. Yeah. Down here. Oh Don't my goodness, that was that's probably uh, one of my favorite down here shirts we ever made. That we made that on our was it the um, the farewell tour or the tour right before that? I forget. Your farewell tour looks like the live in the dream. Match, yeah. So yeah. Wisconsin. That's good. Yeah, the farewell tour. <laughs> That's Mark. right. That's yeah, right. Sean. That's a t-shirt. What's up, Sean? Hello from the motherland. And so my yeah, down here shirts, they're way too small now. I put on a bit of weight because of uh, working out all the time. <laughs> That's a good problem to have. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. The hoodies is this one. You mean these ones? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I have mine. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I those would be some. awesome. Yeah, this is mine, of course. I because would love to have that hoodie. I would love it. <laughs> Let me check out if if we still have it in there. Can we just say too how much we love your own music, Mark? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. We yes. love your own music. Yes. Please write more. I mean, songs like our best. Um, oh, yes. Oh, the re remake. Um, Believe, Eighth Wonder. They're all just exactly. amazing. <laughs> we need more. We need more. All of the EP, they're just great. Amazing, <laughs> phenomenal. Just love and wow. impersonating me. So, Mark, That's one of one the founders, uh, Mark, one of the founders here is a little bit in tears now because he has to miss the session. Uh -huh. Yes, a big fan of yours. <laughs> yes, uh, Sharon, Sharon, the the lady who created our fang our fang page just messaged me and she said, oh my gosh, please tell Mark that I'm so upset that I'm not on right now. So, but. Well, say hi to her for us. I will. I will. Nice. Well, while you're here, perhaps you can do the little bit of a cappella, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mark, Mark, I want, I want to. I want to say congratulations on your Spanish Christmas song. Yay. Your accent is Yay. so beautiful. I loved your accent. I mean, the way you roll your arms. <laughs> wow. That, thank you. Thank you for that. That is the same thing Dahlia said when uh, she heard it for the first time. She's like, you had a very... Very nice yeah. accent. You're a little little strong on your R's, but uh, I I love I love your R's. <laughs> I mean, they sound cute and yet so sexy. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. I'll take it. Oh, I did that. I did it on purpose. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Caro, Caro, uh, I am I am looking at my framed picture right now on my wall, girl. <laughs> you know it, sister. The saint. Yes, sister. You I remember have that, that Mark? Do you remember that day in Pachuk? Yes. Yeah. 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 But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that day you talked um, to was you. I, you I was you out spoke for a walk, about right? the what? Yeah. You were what? Sorry. Uh, I was out for a walk in the middle of the yes. day. Yeah. Yeah. That that was after the sound check. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I yeah, chased I you down the street. <laughs> I, think, I think everybody would agree with me here that you could sing the phone book, Mark, and we'd love it. Yeah. Yes. I've, could, I've actually yeah. considered actually doing that, <laughs> singing the phone book as a joke. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> awesome. The phone book. They could sing the phone book, a cereal box. It doesn't matter. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> right, Diane? Yes. yes. <laughs> You're inspiring me. You're inspiring me for a new idea. This could be like a new YouTube video series where I pick up a random cereal box or a page yes. of, uh, yes, of a phone book and, and just sing random <laughs> tunes. They, they yes. have a this year. Sing the census. I can't tell you how, how amazing it was hearing you sing Mother's Pride the other week as well. Oh, yes. That was absolutely yes. beautiful. Oh, thank you. Um, I've always loved that one. Heart wrenching. Yeah. Oh, the Canadian 
I sent my sister the, uh, the, the, just the audio and she said, that's George. <laughs> he can't say any more. Yeah. Crystal, she was Crystal. Crystal, I have one question. Did, did Mark share any cheese curds with Josh in Des Moines? Are you there? Cheese uh, curds. They, yes. No, they showed up with a whole bag. Yeah, is a I Christmas remember the cheese show. curds. Yeah. They showed up with a whole bag. Yes, I think we even gave some to Amy and Michael. Mm -hmm. Um, because uh, I think you and your wife came with like five or six yeah. bags full of amazing yeah. cheese curds. Everybody got a bag. Yep. Yeah, we spread right. we spread the love. Oh. <laughs> well, I was hoping uh, Josh at least got a little bit of it. Thank he you. He lost his cheese. <laughs> <laughs> well, you come back, I'll have more, many more. Sounds good. We loved it. <laughs> yeah. Christmas Thanks is a that. great time on the road because so many people graciously bring cookies and cake and it's the best time of year well it's also <laughs> also best time of year is mark's birthday oh yeah Yay. 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 Think it's a win. Early birthday. birthday. and we got a, we got a package thank you for that oh careful be, be gentle it oh, says oh, fragile oh it says fragile sorry sorry so we're right. gonna have the time shop <laughs> <Fragile>. <laughs> Is this, from this came in the mail today. It looks like it's from, from Dan Arnold, who <laughs> lives in Diana, Diana and Allen. Diana, yeah, Diana. I'm just reading. Yeah. Yep. And, wait. So okay, I thought you guys lived in the Indiana. wine glass for all of us. All right. Now we're right up the road from you, Jonesboro. 